<laughs> Hi, and welcome to the recap video from week three of level two, Lindy Hop in November. Um, tonight, it's our precap. It's not a recap, it's a precap. Um, so what we have planned for tonight is tuck turns. So tuck turns involve a rotational rock step um, and then compression and release. And so we're going to do a little exercise where we have the leaders imagine a beach ball in front of them and they interlace their fingers um, like they're hugging a big invisible beach ball. And then when they move their hands, I want you to also move your torso. And then when you move your hands, move your torso back. So everything moves as one unit. Um, and then we're going to put that into our footwork. So mm -hmm. if we did like a normal basic mm -hmm. and then this little weird beach ball thing that I just came up with, it would look like. Rock, step, triple, step, triple, step, rock, step, triple, step, triple, step. Again, that's for leaders, but it's my weird analogy, so I'm also doing it too with Ryan. Um, and then our next step of that is to let you release your hands, um, because actually in a tuck turn, it's not a completely round shape that moves. Um, that it moves a little bit more like you're holding a tray, right? Because when you have a partner, your hands are more here as a leader. Um, and so now we're going to move the whole tray, like we're going to give someone a cookie and then we're going to bring it to our tummy like they can't have the cookie, right? Um, so that one, if you did a normal basic first, would be five, six, seven, and rock, step, triple, triple, and cookie, and no cookie, da, 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 right? Um, and then what we have follows work on is practicing turning and pivoting on the spot and taking rotational rock steps. So followers are going to have a nice strong shape like this. Um, just because we're practicing by ourselves, it's better not to just let your arms be like rubber. Um, and we're going to go rock, step, triple, step, triple, step. So I'm actually going to turn my back to you so you can kind of get all the angles lined up for whatever room you're at home practicing in. Um, so face a wall or some other landmark. Um, so my landmark is the sign and then the mirror, which is over there, or Ryan, because you can't see the mirror, but you can see Ryan. Um, so my rotational rock step is going to be open up towards Ryan, hello Ryan, and then I'm going to pivot as I take my triple step, so I'm now facing the opposite direction almost, and then I'm going to pivot again, triple step, right? Because when we do this with a partner, he closes me up and opens me out. So if you do that with our back to the camera, we can see how that fits in. That's the move that we will be working on, uh, which is called a tuck turn. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to be utilizing um, a normal Lindy Hop handhold in this tuck turn versus, like, say, a stop sign tuck mm -hmm. turn that you might have learned with us before. Um, and so we're going to be utilizing the compression of the follows knuckles against the palm of the leader's hand. So everyone can try that at home yourself. Your left hand is the leader and your right hand is the follow. And then just put your knuckles in there and push. And you'll find if you have a straight wrist on the right hand, it's a stronger shape than, like, up here or down here, any of those weird things. Um, so maybe if we, can we turn this direction and do our tuck turn? Mm -hmm. Rock, step, triple step, triple step. We end up in open position with the handhold switch because it's a variant of an outside turn. Um, and then our next little variant is uh, Ryan's gonna actually do a free spin release from that same tuck turn. So rock, step, triple step. He lets go of the hand and then gets it back. Right, so there's a moment where we're not holding hands. Um, and then our final version will be uh, completely hands-free. Rock, step, triple, step, triple, step. And that's the most like the exercise when you were by yourself in the follow. Yeah. Um, can we do those facing maybe the other direction so the leaders can see a little bit more of you? Yeah, so so down, low. down low with the hand. Whoop. Down low, releasing, compress, release, reconnect, and then completely and utterly hands free. Doofa da, doofa da, um, and then our final thing that we really hope we have time to get to, because I always like to give you a little extra time to practice new rhythms, is we're going to show you the footwork for side by side Charleston. So Ryan and I maybe we'll turn to the side and then we'll do it again from the back. Um, uh, and so Stagger with you, so I'll kick you. Um, Ryan will be demonstrating leader's footwork. I'll be demonstrating follow's footwork. It looks like five, six, seven, and rock, step, kick, step, kick, and kick, step, rock, step, kick, step, kick, and kick, step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From the back. Five, six, seven, and rock, step, kick, step, kick, and kick, step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and rock, step, swing. Kick, kick, and kick, step. Right? Um, and we'll be 
working with that rhythm a lot in the final week. So that's your homework. All right, thanks.